What is going to be today? We are diving into my massive John Cena collection. Now, one thing about this collection video is I didn't really plan on doing this, but I figured it was an hour was a good time. And this isn't every single John Cena in my collection, just because there are, I think there's probably 30, 40 more possibly, but they don't really have any accessories. They're kind of extras and bonuses. But today, before I put all these back up on the shelf, and I still haven't done so because I've been running rampant like a chicken with its head cut off, I figured today was a good day to make a video out of this before I put them back on the shelf. And they're not going to be in any order, man. I'm just going to pick one up, discuss it. It's going to be kind of like a classic old school collection video that we used to do on the channel. So that being said, let's buckle the hell up. Let's dive into it and showcase this John Cena collection. Now, first of all, let's start off with one of my favorite attires and looks John Cena's ever done. It's got to be the John Cena chain gang basketball jersey attire right here shortly before and after his WrestleMania victory. Now, let me see if I can get a little bit more of a shine right here. This lamp over to my left could fall at any moment, but this is so damn good, and PWR Lucha is the one that made the jersey, and it's just so beautiful. It's so perfect. It's This is legitimately, I did switch out the shoes and stuff. This is so damn good. I can't even, I, I need to move on before I sit here for 30 minutes. Another classic has got to be the Chain Gang Baseball jersey, one that I wish Mattel would make. This is one I wanted for so long, and again, PWR Lucha on Instagram is the one that made the jersey. Looks so good. I put Deluxe Aggression Cena shoes in it. It is so perfect. And some of these have titles, some of them don't. This one, I think, dropped its WWE title. My daughter comes in here, she'll take the hats off and kind of, you know, play with them. So, yeah, it's because they're out on this table, so I haven't been able to adjust just yet. But that's another one of my favorites right there. Next up, we have a classic, man. We have the MDT Champion attire. Now, this one does have the MDT Championship. This is back when he was MDT Champion. Kind of a throwback there. I don't know where his hat is. It's probably in the pile somewhere, but it, he just wore a chain gang hat. It was kind of my own rendition of a John Cena character, but it's a classic. I love it. It looks great. Got the Champ is Here MDT Champion shirt on with the title. It's money right there. We have the Undisputed Champion right here. WWE World Heavyweight Champion right here when he won the ladder match. Very cool and clean fix up. It's just, you know, sort of like putting some fix, fix you know, it's just kind of a fix up John Cena figure. Next up is another great one we have when he was dual champion right here. You do, it, it, everything's not correct. I know Showstopper Custom Figs made the custom here with the armbands. I really wish we'd get this from Mattel, but the shirt is also PWR Lucha. Got the championships in there. Hate this head sculpt from Elite 34, but it's a very cool attire. One that I wish we'd get for real from Mattel. And we did technically, but it looked like garbage. So there is that. The next one is going to be the football chain gang jersey, which is another one of my favorite looks. Another beautiful custom job done by uh, a few different things. I fixed up an Ultimate Edition, put the Smiling Head Sculpt custom jersey by PWR Lucha, threw some deluxe aggression shoes in there. I think this is New Year's Revolution 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Great looking jersey, great looking everything. This is just amazing to me. Next up is a custom that we have not seen from Mattel either. I'm very shocked they've never made a breast cancer awareness attire, but we do have the pink attire here in the Never Give Up. Around 2013 World Heavyweight Championship, we do have the sort of neon pink bands and hat going on with the world title khaki short. Very cool one. Even has the elbow pad in there. Next up is the figure I was just talking about, man. WrestleMania 23. I dropped his hat here. The thing that makes this figure so trash is they made the shirt too small. This is from when he took on Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 23. The hat shape is right. The hat colors aren't right. It's very cartoony. The armbands are too small and painted on, and the colors aren't accurate. It's a very, just very lifeless release in terms of details. They could have done so much better, but everybody wanted WrestleMania 20 for the fan takeover instead of an Ultimate edition re-release of this one, so we'll have to just live with that now. Next up is the Elite 37 Fix-Up Cena, which is basically, or it's not the Elite 37, it's really the Elite 40. I just switched on the, the arms from the Elite 37, a custom shirt, you know, all those things, but it's a it's a fix-up attire we've never gotten from Mattel. We also have probably the most recent John Cena on this list. It's going to be the Target exclusive SmackDown 4-pack Ruthless Aggression John Cena here, which is beautiful. He's got the Brian Urlacher jersey on. Not accurate, but I did switch out the boots for the Lugs or Tim's mold, and this looks pretty cool. Pretty cool fix-up. I need to get a custom jersey from PWR Lucha, though. Next up is one of my favorite attires that Mattel's never made. It is the Champ is Here back in 2005. I could have swore his hat was just on there. I think it fell off. God in heaven. But he's supposed to have the chain gang hat on there, but this is another great one. I love... I, oh, man. Just a great one. It's a... It, this shirt was not made by PWR Lucha. That's why it kind of looks kind of... It's very old. I've had this shirt for a very long time, but... It's a cool figure nonetheless. We also have the Elite 7 John Cena. Not my favorite attire ever, but I know a lot of people kind of hold this one nostalgic-wise, so there's the orange attire for John Cena. We also have one that they've never made from Mattel. It's going to be the John Deere Attitude Adjustment Style. I also made a 
a shirt you can get on Pro Wrestling Tees that is, it says Bratitude Adjustments, and it's a, like a custom channel related shirt, so you can check that out if you want to, but yeah, this is uh, it's a pretty cool figure. Not my favorite attire, but had to have it for the collection. This is a custom I got on eBay for so long ago, but it's kind of beat up now, and I think my daughter, the, the, the hat's somewhere. If they're not wearing hats, because they fell off in this pile, but the Ellen shorts that are literally the decals are falling off. This is a eBay purchase from years ago, man. Years and years ago, before we got this attire from Mattel, it does have a custom shirt with the circle graphic, custom shoes painted up. It's it's an okay figure. I wanted it for the timeline, saw it on eBay, purchased it, but it's kind of beat up now. He wore his shorts that he wore when uh, Ellen gifted him these shorts or whatever. Next up, we have the Elite 17 John Cena, or Elite 14, I think it is. I think it's Elite 14, nonetheless. Pretty cool gear. I like the head sculpt, and this is one of his more iconic gears in the red. You know, everybody kind of thinks of the you know, feud with CM Punk when you think of this attire. We also have the Elite 34, which is one that was very random. The You Can't Stop Me attire. Not a big fan of this attire, but I did like the shorts and stuff. Don't like the head sculpt. I used to like it okay. Now, I, I feel like it's kind of old now, you know. It really really doesn't add nothing for me. We have the Elite 11 John Cena, which is the purple attire. Again, not one of my favorite attires. Kind of, when I think of this attire, I think of Nexus and that whole story there and everything. Just not my favorite gear, but I know that somebody were going to look back on it with nostalgia. Now, here's an attire that I really like and God in heaven where is his visor? He has a visor on somewhere and it's a chain gang visor that was custom made but we have the summer 2005 when he jumped over to Raw started feuding with Chris Jericho right into SummerSlam, SummerSlam 05 and we have this, uh, I used to own this shirt but I lost it somewhere, I gotta get that one back but it says kick ass take names chain gang soldier one of my favorite shirts he's ever worn and I doubt we ever get this from Mattel so you know I just gotta hold on to the custom I guess we also have the neon green version of sort of the similar era to so there's two different eras right here. You have the green shirt version and you have the black shirt version. You know, he was kind of doing this all the time where he'd get like two different shirts made around the same time and he'd flip the colors. This is one of those sort of examples of that right there. He's got khaki shorts and everything. Not the most exciting gears, but they're okay. I like the lime green better than the black though. Oh, and then the hats back here. I gotta get the hat on there. If I lose these hats, I'm gonna lose my mind. So, gotta keep up with those. The only reason these are all in a pile is because I compiled it for like a John Cena retirement sort of post on Instagram, but we do have a figure we're getting in the greatest hits line. It is the 2013 style gear in the Navy. Looking pretty good there with the khaki shorts. Not bad. Ready for the re-release. Double jointed arms. Sculpted on. Removable bands. That'll be cool. And we also have the Keep Calm and Never Give Up. This shirt was kind of trash made, but it's a breast cancer awareness attire he wore with the red and yellow gear. Not my favorite, but it's a it's something he wore to the ring. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're working on there. We also have the defining moment where he won the tag titles here. So he even has the Nexus armband in there. This is kind of, a, I think this is an elite 20 or best of pay-per-view Cena, and then I just removed the arms and put Elite 11 arms on there, gave him the world tag title, put the Nexus armband on there, so that's cool. We also kind of have another defining moment. This is just his Money in the Bank win, so it's just it, just him holding the Money in the Bank, even though the, they used to make the briefcase so damn comically big, so... You know, they need to redo this figure, but give them the accurate briefcase. I think that'd be pretty cool. We also have the Champ is Here U.S. Champion attire. I need to keep this hat on here. I gotta put this on there. I actually like this figure a lot, but when this figure released, it didn't come with any shirt. This is a custom shirt I think I got from China or something. It's got the U.S. title on there. It even has the graphics on it. It's just got the championship on there, but it says Champ is Here. And it does have the HLR on the back. Pretty cool figure. This this figure I have a lot of, the Elite 40 Cena. What a great Cena. Now we also have a cool custom. We have the Super Cena. We have the Super Cena figure right here, which looks pretty cool. I just took a McFarlane Superman and then put a John Cena head sculpt on it, and you got a nice little custom Super Cena for you. We also have a nice Word Life Cena here, which is just a black, plain black tee, black visor. Got the pendant lock and everything. Got the, you know, it's not my favorite fix-up ever, but certainly a Cena to add to the collection, you know. Got the graphics front and back. And I think this shirt was made by Elite Threads on Instagram. We also have a Elite 37 fix-up, which just has, you know, the Undisputed Championships or the, you know, the world titles around the neck there, which is a cool fix-up. He's got the camera shorts. I think this is the Elite 37 straight up. It just has a basic 100 head sculpt on there, so he's smiling instead of that Elite 37 head sculpt, which was pretty much the Elite 34 head sculpt, where he looks pissed off and weird. I like the smiling head sculpt better. It just kind of adds to it more. We have another Champ is Here shirt. It's from uh, around the same time period, 2013-ish, and we do have the Champ is Here again. It does have the graphics on there. I think I also got this shirt off of eBay. It is Velcro-less, which is pretty cool, but they don't really sell these anymore. I think there, again, there were some overseas sellers. They had some WWE shirts up. Maybe they got cease and desisted or something, but they look 
pretty good in figure form. They've held up over time, though. That's something you can definitely say. All right, so we're finding some hats here. I don't know which hat. Okay, this goes to this. I think this goes to the Ellen shorts, and then this one goes to the MDT champion, maybe. I'm just going to put these... I'm just going to put the hats in the pile, you know what I'm saying? But we do have the ringside exclusive NWO Cena, which is from his matchup with Bray Wyatt, which isn't the greatest of all time. I also think I got a misprint on my hat, which, I don't know, it's just one of those novelty figures you can easily skip over if you want to. We also have a 2017 version here with the orange shirt, which looks okay. Not bad or anything. Kind of Florida Gator inspired is what I like to call it. It's the orange shirt version. And then we also have the blue shirt version. So if you're blue shirt version and orange shirt version, you can kind of see the inspiration. Definitely heavily Florida Gator inspiration going on here. Also got a Doctor of Thugonomics version of John Cena with the 54 jersey. I think he wore this when he debuted the WWE Spinner, or not the WWE Spinner, the US Spinner. And there is another US Spinner fix up right here. And we kind of have like a bunch of different, you know, Doctor of Thugonomics Cena's right here off the top. We have the camo You Can't See Me with the Scratch Logo US Champion attire with a Jax head sculpt on there. I love all three of these. You know, I don't think that they don't really dip into this well too much with John Cena. And partly it's probably because they want to forget about the Doctor of Thugonomics gimmick to a certain extent, but also because a lot of his shirts and the things he wore to the ring you can't really replicate because of graphics and logos and things from officially licensed MLB teams, NFL teams, NBA teams, stuff like that. So I always like these fix-ups. They're really nice. They just stand out, man. They're really different than, you know, just Fruity Pebble different shirts and stuff. So you love to see that, but we also have uh, another, that, that thing that goes on the orange attire from what we just looked at. Again, a lot of hats falling off. We have the Toys R Us exclusive John Cena right here that came with the U.S. Spinner and the WWE Championship prototype John Cena. Not bad. We have a few different ones of these. I think we have two different releases from Mattel and Elite Form. We also have the custom MDT wearing the My Damn Toys jersey. This is from my man Steinsenberg Customs. Huge shout out to him. So this is an actual jersey I had made. I wear it to events and stuff like that. And then he took the jersey, got it made by PWR Lucha, and then he made custom armbands, custom hat he even made custom nikes for the shoe for the shoes there which is beautiful i appreciate him for this this is so sweet i love this figure it's a pretty cool you know nod to john cena the channel wrapped up in the one it's a very i don't know one of the figures i hold there in the collection we also have a top talent cena fix up here with a jack's head sculpt on it so he's got the hat to the side got the word life shirt on there very cool figure here i love this nice fix up here for the collection we have another top talent Cena right here, the Super Mario attire, which is another great one. One that I didn't really think they'd give us, but they they knocked this one out of the park. The hat doesn't go on that well because of the, you know, the hair sculpt, but it's a pretty cool figure, I'd say. We have another John Cena here, which is similar to the Ellen Shorts, but it is the P PBR logo there and everything, but this is the square logo. You know, no khaki shorts. Got the, you know, the blue jorts in there. Not anything too, too crazy, but I know a lot of people like this attire. Another defining moment style figure, we have the WWE Championship win at WrestleMania 21 one so he does have the basic arms in here and everything again it's just kind of a moment in time thing for the timeline we have the kmart exclusive figure right here that does come with the three fingers which this is the only figure that comes with these so we've never seen this else and we've been in the interchangeable hand era for a long time for mattel still haven't gotten these hands again which is crazy they definitely need to add that but i'll take it another john cena in the lime green i don't know why the damn exposure is so crazy but this shirt man they made these shirts way too damn small but it is the lime green and kind of the whole attire if you will quote unquote we have another john deere style attire this is when he returned and faced off with roman reigns i think it was was that Money in the Bank or something like that? I can't remember at the top of the dome, man. But we do have the yellow and green solid-looking figure. Got the removable armbands. More of a modern attire because of the double-jointed arms. You know how you know how it works. Another defining moment here. We have the TLC match with Edge with the rated R spinner over the head there, and it is you know a pissed off John Cena fix up there. Shorts aren't really accurate in terms of length, but uh, it's just a little moment in time there with the rated R spinner. We have sort of a Doctor of Thugonomics debut Cena right here. Not the exact debut, but he's got the white bucket hat, the white tee. This is when he started rapping, I think, for the first time. I think he rapped against Rikishi in this look, so I wanted to make it in figure form. We have the Raw Draft Lottery fix-up. This was released as a defining moment and then later as a greatest hits figure. This is the defining moments, but I did put the custom Spirit of St. Louis shirt, uh, jersey on there, which was, you know, a Moses Malone jersey, I do believe, and I even painted the kicks and everything like that. So you have a cool 
accurate John Cena from that moment instead of a, a jersey that says damn Cena on it. We do have a custom Marine John Cena right here. This was sent in to the channel, which I do greatly appreciate. I love this figure. I think it looks very sweet. He's got the blood on there and everything. And just a very cool figure, man. I've always wanted to have different John Cena iterations of different characters in movie form. We have the Ruthless Aggression John Cena right here. Another very cool figure. I wish they would have included the hat here because he's supposed to have the digital camo hat, but they did not include it. But they did include the armbands, which are not green enough. They're too brown but we'll take what we can get, I guess. And this is actually what it's supposed to look like. So this is the 8-bit attire here on the left, and this is what the hat and armbands are supposed to look like, and this is what we got from Mattel. They didn't include the hat, and they made the arms or the armbands too brown, in my opinion, but they're supposed to have this digital camo hat and everything. I still can't believe they haven't made this in figure form. Maybe one day we'll get that officially from Mattel. Next up is the opposite color of the navy attire. We have the yellow attire, so it is the yellow shirt. Pretty bright going on right there, but that is a custom shirt by PWR Luke. Lucha looks very good, man. Look how good the graphic looks, man. The velcro -less shirts look so good, especially on John Cena figures, man. Some Cenas are falling off to the side here, so I'm going to move them on the screen. We have an ECW One Night Stand John Cena. The hat is all effed up. It had a decal on it, and it really got messed up, so had to uh, adjust that a little bit. But, yeah, I'm going to have to remake the hat or something, but this it does have the green chain gang logos, custom shoes and everything. I just got to redo the hat. We also have sort of a WrestleMania 25 John Cena here. At least that's what people think of when they look at this gear and it looks pretty good this is the top talents john cena that's a re-release of the elite three which is a worse version of this figure you know removable armbands double jointed arms much better head sculpt things like that we have an elite six john cena with a custom shirt one of my least favorite attires from john cena ever is the green and orange i just never really care for this tire attire and i actually don't have the green version of this so he did do this exact same attire but in green and orange as the base you know how he smishes and matches the shirts well i've never owned that shirt for the you know for the collection. I definitely got to get that one checked off the list. Oh man, one of my favorite attires right here, man. This is the Elite 17 John Cena and it is the Rise Above Hate. The digital camo shorts look amazing. The shirt looks amazing. Great hat, great likeness. Just a very good Mattel figure overall. I'm surprised they haven't remade this yet in Greatest Hits. Then we have one of the more recent figures. It is going to be the Ultimate Edition right here and he does have the towel and everything. The only figure that comes with an actual towel is this Ultimate Edition, which is one of his more modern attires here, obviously. One of his most recent appearances. I think he even wore this at WrestleMania 40, if I'm not mistaken. I was there in person, and my mind's gone blank. Got the American flag on the butt and everything. Very cool figure overall. Kind of weird in certain ways on the torso and stuff, but it's a solid figure. We also have the Ghostbusters figure here, which is a very unique deal. I'm not really a Ghostbusters fan, but this is a pretty cool crossover. Anytime they do crossovers, I always like these from Mattel, like we're getting with the team and T line and you do have some cool things going on here with this Cena. Possibly my favorite Mattel figure of all time, it is the Ultimate Edition John Cena with the HLR white and black attire with the chain gang and everything, dude. What a great attire. Official release from Mattel, I think this is my favorite of all time. I'm not entirely sure. It kind of changes sometimes, but I really do love this figure. Such an iconic piece and I, I love everything about this figure and then we do have the legends target exclusive john cena more of a prototype john cena you know they're kind of re-releasing that there give us a different look there i don't know this figure didn't do too well at retail then we do have our fast five john cena as the villain here as jacob toretto it's an okay release again another movie cena i'm a big cena guy so it doesn't really bother me then we have our custom lance catamaran here with the custom hairs from southpaw regional wrestling a very funny uh series that i remembered and i wanted to make this into figure form kind of chunky in the torso, but I still think it's a great figure right there. Great looking custom for the collection. As a defining moment, this is supposed to be when he won the 2013 Royal Rumble, so I just have him shirtless here moments after winning the Royal Rumble. Nothing too crazy about this figure. It's just a, you know, an Elite 23 Cena without the accessories. Not an Elite 23. It's actually a best of pay-per-view John Cena without the accessories, I think, but we do have the first iteration of the, defi not defining moments, the Ultimate Edition. Ultimate Edition John Cena here from his first Royal Rumble win. Very cool figure. Not perfect by any stretch. Some missing details, but uh, uh, in terms of, you know, it's just an outdated ultimate, but a uh, pretty cool figure. I like this attire. There's the damn custom visor right there, the chain gang visor that went with the SummerSlam 05 John Cena. God, these lamps are driving me nuts. I'm about to fight somebody. Stand up. They're not standing. Next up is the WrestleMania 40 Elite John Cena, which is a re-release of the Elite 20 or Best of Pay-Per-View John Cena. I think it was the Elite 20 that came with the shirt, if I'm not mistaken. It was the Best of Pay-Per-View because the Elite 20, I think, was terrible. It had no shirt and it had the saturated shorts. Here's another defining moment Cena. This is from 2008 Royal Rumble win. Shirtless again, you know, moments after winning the match. This is when he returned and won there based on that Ultimate Edition we saw with the orange and black. Here we have when he defeated Big Show to win the U.S. Championship at WrestleMania 20. Nothing too crazy on this one. He's supposed to be carrying a U.S 
this title, but I'm sure it fell in the ground or something. But it is just a WrestleMania Heritage, I think, basic arms on a John Cena Elite. Nothing too crazy. And then we have the Ruck Fools John Cena with the U.S. Spinner, one of my favorite tires. I love this shirt. Obviously, as a kid, wasn't allowed to get the shirt or anything like that, but certainly one that I remember, and I always love the U.S. Spinner title, so I had to get this in figure form. We also have the Live Fast Fight Hard attire here with the, the black and white with the black and white armbands. Another attire that I would love to have from Mattel, one that we haven't seen yet, but we did get this shirt. We did get the shirt, but the hat and armbands are something we're still waiting on. Another Elite 40 fix-up. We have the blue shirt this time, and this is another shirt I got off of eBay back in the day, and it doesn't have any Velcro on it, which again looks so clean. Not, such a nice aesthetic for the figure when they don't include the Velcro, but it is just the another, you know, it's the blue shirt version, and it's a bit light, honestly. It's more of a Carolina blue than the actual teal that it was, but I'll take it, I guess. Then we have one of my favorite gears. It is the Rise Above Cancer attire. The black and pink looks so good. Again, cannot believe we have not seen this from Mattel, but it is the best of pay-per-view elite John Cena, I think, with just a custom shirt, I think, from Ralph's, and then custom armbands, custom hat, and then, you know, all the different details down below. We're running up on the last few Cenas here, man, and one of them may fell off the back. I may have to check on that, but we have a best of pay-per-view John Cena right here in the navy shorts, but it's the same gear, but he does have white shoes instead of the black and white. We have another John Cena here. I think this is the Elite 64 or maybe Elite. I, I, my mind's gone blank. I don't think this is Elite 64. I think this is after that one, but it's pretty much a re-release of an original fan. I remember people being pissed off that they just kept the same exact shirt and hat from the previous release. We have the Elite John, th Elite 3 John Cena. And this Elite 3 does have a custom shirt because the original kind of fell apart. But this figure just is very dated, man. Very dated. That same damn John Cena shoe mold that's been forever. Finally getting retired, man. We have another John Cena Chain Gang Soldier. I think this original jersey did come from eBay. And they didn't put the graphics on the back. But I didn't care at the time because they had the front graphic. And this was very early on. And so I, I was just happy to have this figure. I, I certainly have a better version of this now, which you saw in the beginning of the video. But this is always a cool figure for me. And the last three, we do have a custom Elite that came out way before that original Ultimate Edition that we talked about. This is a custom I made way back in the day. It's got the Kerry Von Eric claw hand for the You Can't See Me hand, and then just, just a fix-up, you know, with a custom shirt and hat. Then we have the Best of Pay-Per-View John Cena, or the Elite 20. I can't ever remember. I want to say that this is the Best of Pay-Per-View, but I could be wrong about that, but it is the, you know, the original version of that WrestleMania. Is his bicep on backwards? It sure as hell is. Look at that. Biceps on backwards. What the hell are we doing? It's been like that for years. How insane is that? And last but not least, we have the Super Showdown attire without the shirt and hat. Nothing too crazy here. But yeah, this is another John Cena in the collection. I never I never liked that shirt, so I was like, I don't even want to make it in figure form. It's just an ugly shirt, man. You can't stop me. Very plain. They were just like, uh, F it. Just, uh, people will buy it. Just make it. And then the only Cena that fell off the back was the Even Stronger attire. So we do have the Even Stronger right here to wrap up the last John Cena of this figure video, man. So we do have all of these John Cenas. And then the rest we have in a pile on the floor. So that is the full John Cena table full of John Cena figures, man. I just wanted to make the video before. I just wanted to make a video out of this before I put them up on the thing. That way, you know, you at least get, make a, you know, I don't think I've made a Cena. I don't think I've done a Cena collection video in a long time, so I wanted to put that up before I put those figures back up on the shelf. But here's our pile, man. Pile full of John Cena action figures, but I think that is pretty much going to wrap up the collection video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now I gotta put them all in order and put them up on the damn wall, which is going to be such a headache. That's why they've been sitting there for so long. It's because I didn't want to put them back up and I have to get back up and down. But I guess now I have the time to sit a Side to put them all back. But now that I've made this video, now I can actually put them back, so it's good. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting the hell out. I'd love to know what your favorite Cena attire and figure is from the entire collection down below. Please let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it, man. Love going back and forth on which attires are better than others. I'm sure I disagree with a lot of your takes, so we'll have to see. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. That is pretty much going to wrap the video, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.